Hey everybody, Mr. Paku Paku here with another Let's Play video. Today I will be playing Shock Troopers Second Squad. It's a Neo Geo arcade game developed by Saurus in the late 90s. Uh, recently it's been published into, I believe, the virtual consoles. I believe Xbox 360 or PlayStation. Not sure, but one of them has it available for download. And it's also available for the PSP in one of those SNK compilation UMDs. I think it's the SNK Collection Volume 1. Um, as you can see here, there's four characters to choose from. Each has a special ability, uh, speed, attack, um, power-ups, uh, different, like, different stats for each person. I will choose this person, and here we go. Uh, this game kind of reminds me of Metal Slug mixed with Contra a bit. It's a side-scrolling shooter. Uh, one thing you'll notice about this is it doesn't have any lives, but rather an energy bar. So I believe depending on the, dam the damage from different hits, I believe like bigger bullets or bombs or explosions, uh, each hit has a, will take a different amount of your life points. Um, other than that, it's uh, actually also reminds me of Smash TV. Just the just the way uh, its style of gameplay is, how you can actually, um, well the way the way you shoot, the direction you go, you walk around. Uh, button schemes a lot better than Smash TV, but um, right off the get go, there's tons of enemies. Um, you never know what's going around, what's going to happen, come around the next corner. Um, this isn't my first time playing this game, but uh, I remember playing this game maybe about twice. Uh, I found this game in one of those rest areas going towards Maryland. And it's something that I just played while, you know, we rested. Uh, coming from New Jersey, we would drive down to Maryland sometimes, uh, Temple Hills area, you know, visit some friends. And we would just stop at these rest areas, and they would have random arcade games, and this was one of them. I remember this game. I, like, I, don't, re I don't recall the name, but um, as I was browsing through uh, my Neo Geo ROMs, this came up, and you know, I remember this exact scene. I don't remember how well I did, but I, I didn't last too long with, you know, I only put one credit in and then it's time to eat, time to go, so, you know, all I remember was I, I had fun, it was something I wanted to try out again. Uh, I don't recall the second time I, I played this, but, you know, I do recall going through scenes like this when I was playing it. A uh, pretty interesting story, I guess. It's yes, this dictator is taking over a town, and you're <laughs> setting them free, I suppose. <laughs> what I love about these games too is, you know, every time every time you hit something that's vulnerable, uh, something something flashes, and I'm surprised. Nobody got seizures from this. Sorry about that, but it's all your fault. Okay. <laughs> Strange dialogue. Not much of a backstory given, but you know, usually the premise to these games is you're a you're a group of rebels trying to take down the bad guys. So. I think it's kind of cool too that you know you could jump into vehicles. Vehicles are they all have a uh, different types. As you can see here, this is the second vehicle I picked up. So far, the power-up's been nice. I mean, the starting weapon for this person is great. I'm not sure, or I don't remember if the other 
characters have with different... Oh, well, actually, yeah, they do. From what I remember seeing in the intro screen, the character select screen, they all had different types of bullets. Well, you know, for me, this is the, this, not the fire, not the flamethrower, but the, this is her default weapon. It's, it's usually my favorite. I mean, like games like Truxton, where you start off with it, you know, it gives you the false sense that this game is going to be a little easier. But, uh, no, it's not. It, if, if they give you a powerful weapon like this in the beginning, I guess that's the hint that this game is going to be somewhat difficult. And it kind of is. I mean, there's tons of enemies on the screen. There's, you know, different speeds of bullets flying around. You know, right now would be a perfect time or a, you know, it would be nice if I had a vehicle to fight off this, uh, these enemies here. Okay, other than that, not much going on. It's weird that these enemies are rolling, <laughs> rolling around. Like, what's the point of that? Now, why can't I shoot you while you're rolling? Well, I guess I guess they can't hit me because I can dodge bullets while I'm jumping too, which is pretty interesting. Well, I died and. I don't know why, it just won't let me continue. I had to put in another name. I had to put in a name for a high score. It doesn't really matter, it doesn't get saved once I stop this. Also, I want to I wanna take note that when I do these Let's Play arcade games, uh, usually I try to challenge myself. I don't want to play a whole hour where it's unlimited credits. I try to give it a re realistic feel to it. So, when I started this game, I intentionally started with three lives or three credits, as, this, as it mentions. At the bottom it says uh, one credit right now, but I believe uh, when I started it said zero two. So I'm guessing on my last life it's just going to say zero. That's probably just the available credits. I mean, like, you know, I appreciate those Let's Play videos that other people put up. But I mean, with unlimited quarters, I guess it's not much of a challenge. Anyone can play and anyone can beat it. But also, I do see some people spend only one quarter or one credit on a game like this, and I have no idea how they do it. I mean, it's not impossible, because many people have done it, but I can't. This rocket launcher doesn't seem to have any good effect to like bosses or the enemies. I think this uh I think my starting weapon is maxed out pretty much. As you can see the bullets got bigger. It gets bigger on impact. But yeah, going back to that whole, you know, oh, right there. Yeah, we're going back to that whole one quarter, you know, run through. It's amazing because like games like this, or even beat 'em ups like The Simpsons. I have gotten close just to beating the first level with one credit. I think I think the the first boss that wrestler you run into in The Simpsons is the hardest boss in the game. And I see I've seen videos where people beat it without losing energy or even you know putting in another credit for insurance. It's crazy. This boss is taking forever to kill.
Yeah, I don't even know how I died there. Like, what touched me? Is it done? Fine. Oh, we can close it. I don't know if that was a glitch or if it meant to disappear, but finally. <sighs> well, that's two stages cleared using two credits so far, I believe. So far, the challenge the challenge has been good. Uh, the soundtrack is pretty cool. It's a it's actually keeping ke keeping interest for me in this game. Oh, so I guess you're not a dictator. You're not going up against a dictator, you're going up against a gang now? <laughs> oh man, this is, this is a... This is actually pretty fun. I, I wonder how, like, how much better it would be if I had a friend over right now to play this. Maybe I will have a Let's Play video with someone else. Maybe I'll have a special guest or something come on by. To hear us talk and... You know, maybe if I get one of those screamer gamers where they'll scream at any anything that passes by or anything that happens too quick. Like that. I almost I almost screamed right there. <laughs> I don't know what the heck they're shooting at me. Is that gas? Oh whatever it was, it pretty much cleared out my energy. So that gas from the tank nearly kills me, but rockets that just blew up the floor had no effect. And that guy kind of looked like M. Bison. Alright, see now it's starting to get harder. I'll just stick to her. Oh look at this, there's like a tank shooting gas that I could barely, barely dodge. There's bullets at different speeds coming everywhere. This is ridiculous, at least give me like a tank or something. Give me a fair fight. Oh, one thing I, I do notice too is there's no way to replenish my health bar. Like there's no food to pick up. Or no power-ups that will re-energize me from what I noticed. Excuse me while I dance around here. Wow, uh. oh, that was a that was a little too easy for them. Oh yeah, it's, it's weird that they give you a life bar, but they don't give you an option or, uh, you know, something to replenish it just a little bit. I mean, with this gunfight right here, you know, there was no way I could pull a, pull a Neo from the Matrix and dodge all that. But, you know, as a reward for getting through that whole mess, you know, it would be nice if I could get, you know, a burger or something to replenish that health, or at least some of it. Look at that. One shot pretty much wasted a quarter. Oh, look, look at that. I got, I did get a life up. Think of a jig. Huh. Just as, a, just as soon as I complain about not having a life up, power up, suddenly I get one. But that's the first one I've seen or noticed, so we'll see how rewarding it gets as how difficult this gets. You know it's going to get difficult if it's lagging like this. I mean, it could just be my computer, but... Uh, usually arcade games, when when there's more than a certain amount of enemies, it does tend to lag a little bit. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever noticed that in games like Final Fight, where there's three or four guys about to kick your ass, and you know it's fine. But then when two, three more show up, 
you know, from the, either from the left or right side, there's a bit of a slowdown until, you know, someone dies. Oh yeah. And this rocket launcher couldn't be, like, any worse. It's like walking on. Like, I don't even know if it even did any damage to that thing. And look at that. I wasted six rocket launchers on one guy. Meanwhile, there's, like, other things flying around. And it all missled into one person. There's another boss fight. Hey, like, oh, it's like I'm bison with a gun. All right, let's see if I get get past this. I'm not gonna. I'm tempted to put in more, more credits, but. I'm gonna be fair here. Oof. Oh, great, and I get this rocket launcher. Which is not even all that powerful, really. I mean, you think about rocket launchers, you think it's a one hit kill, or at least some great damage to it. Nothing, look at that. It's like barely flashing. I'm about to die. And I died. Oh, here we go. Oh, not yet. Here we go. Let's see how well I can play with just one hit. Oh, the sonic booms got me. And it's game over. Well, overall, it's been a fun experience. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please subscribe if you haven't. Peace out. Later, guys.